Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you some advanced F12 tricks and algorithm, including this case, where the corner is solved and the edge lines up with the center at the back being solved like this. What I see a lot of people do in this case is, from this angle, they rotate twice, x2, pair this up like the beginner method, do another rotation to insert it. That's three rotations, that is way too many just to solve one pair. So from this angle, if the colors line up here for the edge and the corner, and the corner is soft, in this case, what I usually do is do a wide anti-soon. So it's basically doing an anti-soon but with wide U moves. So how that will look like is line it up in the back, do R wide U, normal U, R prime, normal U prime, R, and the wide U prime, and then R prime, and that solves this pair in the back. Now, if you hold your corner in the back left slot, but the colors here do not match, that means that if you do the anti soon wide, it will make the edge flip, so that is not the correct angle. So in this case, what you can do is you can actually rotate to this side, such that the corner is in the right, the back right slot, and you can do the same algorithm but with your left hand. So like this, wide U, white U, and that will solve the pair in the back. Next up, we have this case, and I know the most famous way to do this is to just rotate, pair it up like this, rotate again, and insert it. But I'm not a big fan of using two rotations to solve one after all pair. So instead, there are two ways that I like to do it from this angle. If it's from this angle, then of course, I can just pair it up and rotate once. Rotating once is fine, but I don't. from this angle, I'm not a big fan of rotating twice. So from here, the two things that I'll do is either the M and M prime one, which is like this, which solves that, or if you hold it on the left side, you can actually do a sledgehammer, and that will pair it up, and you can just insert it. Now we have the same case as the first one, I said that we are holding it from this angle such that the empty slot is in the front. And if the colors line up on the side here, you can actually just do a sexy sledge to insert that. But instead of just doing a normal sexy sledge, you will do a wide sexy sledge. So sexy move with wide R moves and sledge hammer with wide R moves as well. And that will solve this. But if this case is on the right side, then make sure you know how to do it with your left hand, which is wide sexy and sledge, but with your left hand. Next up, we have this case when there's a soft pair here and it needs to go into opposite slot, like over here. So what I see a lot of people doing is just taking the pair out, rotating and inside it this and not only is this a bad way of solving this case but there's also a much more efficient way of solving it so what i like to do is from this angle i'll do r prime f and then i'll just connect this pair over here f prime r and that solves the pen to the back the great thing about this is that it doesn't affect any of the other slots here or here the hair will remain solved for the last two moves make sure you do the f prime first then the R to preserve this pair. Because if you do the R first, then the F prime, you end up taking out this pair and breaking up this spot right here. Next up, we have one of the more well-known cases is when these two edge pieces need to swap around and the corners are all soft and the colors match up here. So this is a pretty easy one. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. Pretty well known, but I just wanted to include it in this video. Finally, we have this case. This is when all of the other F12 pairs are solved and you have a flipped edge case. There are three ways of doing it. The first is a slightly more inefficient way, which is rotating, pairing up, and rotating back to insert. And I myself, as I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of doing two rotations to solve one pair. So from this angle, you can solve it by inserting the edge into here. U, and now you have this case, which can be paired up like this. U2 insertion. Another way of doing this is treating this pair as unsolved, just pairing it up as per normal, and then inserting this pair into the back. So now both of these algorithms are pretty fast to execute, and I personally use different algorithms depending on which side I'm facing. So if I'm facing it from the front, I'll do the first algorithm. But if I get this case from the back, I'll actually use the second algorithm I showed, 
which is just pretending this slot is unsolved, then cancelling into inserting this pair, and that will solve after all. So those are some advanced F2 tricks and algorithms. This is just part 1 and I'm pretty sure I'll make a part 2 very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.